Welcome to the Aquaspresso Coffee Academy and today we're going to be talking about decaf coffee. How does it happen? How does it work? How do you get coffee from caffeine full to no caffeine? So there's really two ways and one of the ways we're going to go through really cause the bad rap of decaf but there's really two ways which you can decaf coffee. So one of the properties of coffee or one of the flavors inherently present in coffee results in caffeine. You can't avoid that. Now over the years people have been caffeine intolerant, they want to try and reduce the caffeine intake and they invented a way which they call the solvent method which is really a chemical method to remove all the caffeine or let's say all the caffeine, 97 percent of the caffeine from the coffee. And how this basically works, you have green beans so before you've roasted your coffee and you dip this into a solvent. Solvent is just a mixture and it's usually either methylene chloride or ethyl acetate and what that does, you soak it long enough, what that does, it removes all the caffeine, well again, 97% of the caffeine, from the coffee beans. Great, decaf coffee. But the downside of that is with the caffeine, you get a whole bunch of other flavors which go with it. And it often results in the loss of a lot of flavor in the coffee. So you're left with a coffee or a green bean of coffee which is now almost caffeine free, but also missing a lot of its inherent flavors. That's a chemical method and because chemicals, you know, the, the, the sound of chemicals have terrible connotations, decaf has a really bad rap. Many studies and most of the studies have proved nothing too terrible but at the same time nothing too conclusive. Second method which was then invented to try and avoid chemicals altogether was what they call the Swiss water method. And the Swiss water method is a bit more complex. Basically it involves taking Again, green coffee beans and soaking those coffee beans in really really hot water and what that does similar to the chemical solution but it takes away not some of the flavors it takes away every single flavor that coffee bean has together with that some of the decaf or some of the caffeine comes with it now you have coffee beans with no flavor at all and you have water with all the coffee beans flavors with one of those being caffeine you, what happens then, they take that water solution and put that through a process of reverse osmosis through activated charcoal. And what that does, it removes only the caffeine. So now you have three types of mixtures. You have just the coffee beans, no flavor. You have caffeine by itself alone. And the last thing you have is now water with all the original coffee's flavors. Right? And what they do now is they take that water with all those flavors back to the original coffee beans and now they mix them, right? They mix them long enough and now put together most of those flavors transfer right back, transfer right back to the coffee beans and now you have chemical free, caffeine free coffee beans. Easy, kind of. So it's a complex process, much more complex than just the solvent method and resulting process much more expensive, number one. And number two, it is believed pretty much by everybody that that process when it's transferring the flavors back isn't nearly as efficient as leaving the remainder coffee with the flavors behind like the solvent process, the chemical process. So you do lose, a bit of, uh, quite, lose out on quite a bit of flavor through the Swiss method process. But those are the two decaf processes which are existing. I hope you like that. I hope it helps. Let us know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to learn more or see more videos about coffee and coffee machines, please hit the subscribe button below and tune in for more.